this is Ragdoll, and I'm here with Kevin from the Look Back Library, and we're going to be going over uh, some of my covers I've had over the years. What do you remember about that day? This day was on the way to, it was either on the way to Vegas or on our way out from Vegas because uh, I was shooting in this, in, or in this uh, magazine, there's like a whole interview and it's pretty much all Vegas. So I think it might've been on the way to Vegas. I'm not sure, one or the other. But it's in uh, Victorville, and super windy spot. It's in like a like a a hallway, and then the hallway breaks open right there, so it's just super gusty. Anyone that's skated that rail knows yeah. it looks better on footage and in a photo than it does to actually skate. Yeah. But yeah, ended up getting that, and that was. And who it, shot it? Oh fuck, I don't even know. Let's see. Oh, Sean Peterson. Cool. Yeah. So, I think I'm really trying to get the fucking story straight. It might have been on the way home from the Vegas mission that I got all the other photos uh -huh. and I just wanted to get the cherry because I was juiced to get the cherry on top and yeah. got it and it ended up being the cover and it was my first cover I've ever had. And knowing that it was going to be your interview, did they... Did you know that you were going to no, get a cover nothing. out of it? No, back then it was just like, do you want to do something for the magazine? And, and I think it just started, we were talking about doing a Vegas trip and I was going to show people at the spots. Yeah. But Vegas is jacked and nobody wanted to skate any of the spots. So <laughs> it just turned it out fucking me showing off and yeah, turned it into an interview and got the cover out of it. I was fucking psyched. It was all a big surprise. Awesome. And this is my second cover shot by Rick Kosick and this day I remember wanting to go here to do something else because it was in a video and I had something else in my mind I, I don't I don't know if it was on the rail or the bank or something and it wasn't what I expected so we got there and I didn't have nothing so I, I was like I, I can't do what I came here to do so Grant Schubert, the, the uh, label uh, filmer, the best filmer ever in skateboarding, my favorite, he's the best in the ribs. He had all this shit in his trunk, like signs for cracks and stuff. And if you can tell, I just put a little lawn tramp and that's a like his filmer board. And then we yeah. just put a fucking, cause I was like, we're here, we're gonna get something. I got cost, drag, drag Cossack all the way out to deep Pasadena, I think. Okay. And. Yeah, ended up getting this, and I remember, I'm really good friends with Naraco, and I remember him getting, getting the photo and just telling me it might even be the quote in here like, "Ragdoll wishes he was the Gons," <laughs> and then it ended up being a cover. And this is a highlight of my career, just how the whole fucking thing and just a hippie jump on a rail back then. Even like it's getting like more normalized now, but. Back then, it was kind of just like a middle finger, like you can go out and basically do what you want to do, and if it looks good, shot good, you always got a shot, so just keep doing whatever the fuck you want to do, and you might end up on a cover of a magazine. And whose magazine was that? Uh, Larry Flint. But that specific issue? That specific issue? Um, oh, yeah. Who is it? Oh, yeah, Kyle. And this was my team manager for Destructo Trucks. And this issue got sent to him, and now I'm talking about my cover. With his that issue. That fucking got sent to his house. Was it his house? No, nah, to, to, oh, it was to, to, to Giant, I think, yep. yeah. Yep, That's I spent cool. many a days in that office. Yeah. Fuck yeah, shout out Kyle Yagimoto, you fucking maniac. Big Brother is when I got the cover, I got to go to the Larry Flint building. Ah. And, uh, yeah. That shit was wild. Racco had his fucking office set up in there and he showed me some wild shit when I was a young man. <laughs> Opened my eyes. Even though I'm born and raised in Vegas, yeah. that office showed me some other type of fucking Hollywood shit. And yeah. yeah. Good fucking times. And there's more. Yeah. There's always more. Just seeing old shit like this makes me want to keep fucking doing it. Hell yeah. Maybe I'll be the oldest man on the cover.
And are you working on a video part right now? Yep, just wrapped up. Uh, we're in Vegas right now, so just wrapped up getting the last trick of all the spots in Vegas. So got it today, go back to Tucson. I got two more things to do, and then it's straight to nerding out and editing the thing yeah. and putting it out. Cool. And trying to work on getting some more covers. Something, staying in the mix. Yeah, hell yeah. What What's your favorite cover? All without oh. hesitation, uh, it's a Thrasher cover, and it's Jeff Raleigh juggling grenades. Uh, yeah. That to me, just with his skating, Sturt. just fucking spoke to me. I was like, "That's he didn't even have to do a trick. That was his whole career, like just juggling grenades." And to this day, it's my favorite cover. I, and it doesn't have anything to do with it, but if you're a skateboarder, you know it has one hundred percent to do with skateboarding because you're just. It's a fucking, it's a gamble. You're yeah. just juggling grenades anytime you go out. Wow. So that will always stand out. And skate, skate trick? Uh, I don't even know, because that one just resonates yeah. so hard. That's beautiful. Yeah. It spoke to you. Yeah, it spoke it just to this day. If anyone has a copy of that, send it to me. I want it because I, I don't get autographs from. You got one? Yeah. If you can get it signed by Jeff, that's going in a frame. Because I don't get autographs or something like that. <laughs> the minute it came, just being young and seeing that, and I was just like, "This is the coolest fucking like." I like it. Just spoke to me. Just right. like it's embedded into what skateboarding is to me. Like that cover and and Gons and. I don't know, there's certain things in skateboarding and certain people in skateboarding that make you feel that connection. Like, yeah, this is why I fucking do it. And yeah. one of those, that, that cover right there is why I fucking do it. Juggling chaos. Yeah. It's the shit. Shout out Jeff Rowley.